Hey everybody, welcome back to Crappy Gaming. We're taking a look at Lumbercraft today. It's the uh, the number one strategy game in the App Store right now for iOS. So in this game, you pretty much collect lumber and you can trade it for gold coins at this thing, which I will get to later. Um, let me show you around here. This is, I'm level four right now. This is my little area. This is your little house where you go to between fights. And it's kind of like a wave type fighting game, you know, you got to beat the waves coming in. I'll show you real quick. So you have to run in real quick and grab some wood first thing. And then you run over and you build your towers as fast as you can. You see the little timer going down. You put up some walls for your towers. Sometimes they don't have walls. And then these towers are going to help you get through the waves. And these trees will give you certain things like hearts and coins and stuff. And here they come. So you're going to see me get my butt kicked. Because I was overconfident. Thinking that my character was a lot stronger than he really was. And that's your little special ability right there. You have no control over it really. Other than just smacking people and get your fever meter up. As you can see they drop hearts and coins. Which you can spend for other stuff. There's a little dance. Do a little dance. Alright. So I'm speeding this through. Because you really want to collect all the wood. Between matches. That way you can automatically get a jump start. On building your towers in the next fight. So I cut out all the ads. You can thank me later. Um... This game is full of ads. Oh my god. It is ad city on this game. But you get you get some stuff like easy upgrades and stuff for watching the little 30 second ads. So it's whatever. I usually load a bowl of Wheaties while the ads going on. So it's no big deal to me. It is kind of an addicting game. They did a decent job. This game has a lot of potential to do some cool stuff. Right now, it's really simple. It's just wave fighting and try to survive. Uh, it's it's not, not too hard, but it does get a little difficult if you're not careful and your character is not strong enough. However, it is really, really easy to level up stuff in this game. Um, it's uh, it's just a matter of, like, waiting a couple minutes and you have enough lumber to upgrade stuff. It does get more challenging as it goes on. I almost die here. I can't believe I didn't die. I've only died one time. That was it, just once. Uh, luckily not this time though. I really need some hearts because I got another wave coming. Where are the hearts? Come on. Give me something, man. Build this wall up. Give me a heart. There we go. Come on, one more. There you go. Nice. All right, so that was close. It's a great game if uh, you're bored, you just want to have something to do for a couple hours. You know, it's it's different. It's enjoyable. Uh, the ads are really the only downside to this game, but other than that, it's fun. The uh, the fighting gets kind of kind of crazy. You can't really control the fighting, like which is, like for instance, you you automatically swing, 
there's no buttons to press for you to swing. So whenever a, an enemy comes by, you automatically swing like that. So it's kind of like a, you got to hack and run. So, yeah, it gets kind of challenging a little bit. Not too bad. If you level up your character, you make sure your, your character stays leveled up at least the same as the level of the, the survival wave, you should be okay. And then it's just this strategy right here. Just run, swing on one, run, swing on one. And then once you get your fever, fever mode up, you just hack them all up. And do a little dance. That's actually one of my favorite parts about this game, the little character dancing at the end of it. And I speed this up because <clears throat> nobody wants to sit there and watch me chop down trees in real time. So we just go super speed here. Try to hurry this up. And we're going to go home. And surprisingly, there was no ad. Uh, that was the, like one of the very few times that there's not an ad that I had to cut out. So here you can uh, buy stronger weapons and armor at the blacksmith to make you stronger and tougher. Here you can buy uh, upgrades to your towers to make your towers stronger and tougher. You get wood at the lumber mill there. You can get more wood at that lumber mill as well, but it's uh, slower to generate. <clears throat> and I was very close to um, upgrading my house here, so I just went ahead and chopped down some wood around the area. I sped this up. This is not like the actual speed. So we're going to come here. We'll check to see the lumber mill. There we go. Now I've got what I need. And I'm going to go upgrade my home. Oh, shit, I'm being attacked. <clears throat> Hack this guy up real quick, and I'll show you some stuff. All right. So we upgraded our house, and usually you get to build something new when you upgrade your house. This is where you buy gold. I make myself stronger real quick. I'm gonna do the same for my towers. All right. So you get different offers. There's good offers, bad offers, and perfect offers. And then there's also the best deal. If you watch an ad, you can get the best deal. Here you can heal up. And to buy gold, you basically just trade the lumber you got in the game for the gold so that you can, you know, do other stuff. It's, no, it's really like you don't have to pay for anything. You don't have to pay for the gold. And then this is a new thing that I get on level 5. I get this Wheel of Fortune. I sped that up too. That was really slow. And, uh, yeah, this is where I'm at so far in Lumbercraft. Give one last look at the little area, your homestead. It's a fun game. There's, uh, there's tons of ads, but it's still fun. Thanks for watching, everybody.